former President Olusegun Obasanjo, a major backer of the presidential candidature of the Labour Party candidate, Peter Obi, has released a letter to the President and to INEC, where he calls for calm and calls for caution concerning the elections which he believes are rigged and fraudulent. Now, I'm going to read the letter to you. I'm going to read, I might not read all, but I'm just going to read for my visually impaired viewers. Now, the letter begins, Nigerian brothers and sisters, greetings to you all. I am constrained to speak at this point. I crave the indulgence of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency General Muhammad Buhari, to make this statement because I have had opportunity to keep him aware of what I know is happening and the danger looming ahead. On many occasions in the past, I have not hesitated to point out lacuna in the action of the President and his government. But as far as these election issues are concerned, the President has proved beyond reasonable doubt that he will want to leave a legacy of free, fair, transparent, and credible elections. Until last Saturday night, February 25, 2023, the good and noble plan and the preparation for the election seem to lie to be going well for the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. A lot of money was, aged, was spent to introduce biomidal voter accreditation system and the server for immediate transmission of results from polling units. It is no secret that INEC officials at operational level have been allegedly compromised to, well, to make what should have worked not to work and to revert to manual transmission of results, which is manipulated and the results doctored. Now, I'm going to leave you to read the rest of this letter. We're putting it up on the screen. But basically, former President Alicia Gobasanjo believes that this election is a fraudulent election, that it doesn't reflect, excuse me, the will of the Nigerian people and that probably something needs to be done. He's giving suggestions on what should be done. I don't know if the Muhammad Buhari administration would carry it out. But then take your time and read this letter because obviously this is a man who loves Nigeria and what he says is coming from a place of experience because he's been president of Nigeria at three occasions, head of military head of state and two-time elected president. So he has an idea of the situation and what should, could be done even better than the incumbent to bring about a resolution that will be acceptable to all Nigerian people. Now, continue to read and put your comments in the comment section.